Hey everybody, Linda the Gamer Gal here. This is the Glitchy mm-hmm. Gamer Podcast, and today I have the one and only Heidi Anderson Swan, and I'm the voice of Jill Valentine in Resident Evil Remake. So Heidi, one question. Yes. Did you know about Resident Evil before you got the role? I did not know. I had never heard of it. So I was told that by my agent that I had an audition. And so I went in for the audition, I read for it, and lo and behold, I got the job. And that was super exciting. And I went to the job, and there were no pictures, there was no video, I didn't know the storyline. All I had were scripts from just what Jill needs to say. And that was it. And so, and there was nobody to act with. So I was all alone in a booth by myself with the director and the producer outside giving me direction. So no, I had no history with Resident Evil at all. Did you ever think you were gonna scream so many different ways in a voiceover action? (laughs) Did I scream a whole bunch of different ways? No, did you think you were gonna have that many times to scream? I guess I didn't think about it too much. I wasn't thinking too much about being in an action, I just figured this is what you do. And I had done other video games before and I had taken animation classes. And so I had a little bit of an idea that you just have to be prepared to give them whatever they want. And that that includes vomiting, screaming, screaming in a whisper, screaming like crazy and everything in between. And you just had to be sure that you do it all. And they can always bring you back. They can always say, Give it, do that but just a little bit less or split the difference but if you can't get that far then you're probably not going to get the job so you've got to be prepared to really go out so yeah I was ready yeah I was ready did you play the game oh no no have you seen any video about it yes yes I have I've seen it um, in fact when I first found out that Resident Evil was a hit was in 2017. Oh, okay. So I, I'm not in the game world until all of this became open to me. I, otherwise, I had no idea. Um, so some fans reached out to me and they said, do you know that there are some people who would like to hear from you? And I said, no. was Was it the row? No, this <laughs> was a Crimson Head Elder. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm waiting yeah. for the row to get an interview with you because they have done the original Resident Evil. Uh-huh. And so they're like doing like spinoffs and like documentaries and different things like that. So I'm waiting for them to like get Oh, the Residents of Evil. Yeah, Residents yes, of Evil. Yes, yes, yes. No, I've met JJ. Oh, okay. In fact, I met him yesterday. Oh, you did? Yes. Nice. Yes, yes. So I, did, I hadn't heard them referred to as the row. Oh, yeah. They, but... they go by the row. Oh, the row. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's so, right. They're super great. Would you do any future projects like the other cast members have done? Oh, yeah, sure. Sure. It all depends on my schedule. And um, uh, somebody had reached out to me and said, can you just do a line for me? And I'm like, if you can do it and you can record it and do all of that, yes. But I can't do the recording. I'm just way, way, way too busy. I was in between several projects at the time and traveling. And I was like, huh, I just don't have the bandwidth for it but yeah yeah, so it all depends on the timing really would you do any other resident evil if they gave you an opportunity to do it as in capcom capcom or anybody like would you would you take on the role of of jill valentine again well i guess that all depends on the on the situation so yeah but capcom for sure i think would be able to figure out how to (laughs) <laughs> me. I'm hoping for like a like a spinoff or, or like a, you watch the game being played by somebody like how they do with uh, Jay's channel and be able to do like commentary on what you were feeling at that time when that scene yeah. was being played out. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have um, we've done things like that before on Discord with yeah. uh, Crimson Head Elder and Nicole Tompkins, who is one of the more recent Jill Valentine's. She and I did an interview together. Yeah. It's on YouTube. And so we've gone through and we've talked about things like the difference between what it was like when I filmed all by myself in the sound booth and she flew to Japan and was in oh, motion yeah. capture and signing 
NDAs and was with other actors. You know, it's like a world of difference between Jill Valentine when I did it and Jill Valentine more recently. So, yeah, so we've done playthroughs together in oh, okay. different situations. Yeah, so with Nicole Tompkins and with um, Crimson Head Elder. Yes, I have on what, Discord. Yeah. What is your favorite outfit from Jill Valentine? Well, the cap, the yeah. beret. <laughs> <laughs> for sure and I think well and absolutely the the one that she wears the the you mean the yeah the yeah. Um, the RPD outfit yeah okay like yeah. Yeah, like the military outfit one yeah yeah so are you which ones are you thinking of are well there's there's the one with the skirt that's from yeah. like RE3 right and then there's that one right there yeah. and then there's the one from Resident Evil 5 okay. where she's she's got blonde hair and she is uh she's wearing like a like, like kind of like a swimsuit kind of thing oh yeah okay so I think as a general rule I'd like a game to be about the game yeah <laughs> so when they do things where they're showing a lot of flesh then that takes on a, a whole different point of view and so I'd sort of I'm a purist I'd rather have it be about the game yeah and about the chores and less about the skins is what they call them this is that what they call it yeah the it's, skins. it's, it's That's basically nice like yeah, it's like a decal like you get uh, like a little like you can change the outfit you can change the way the gun oh, looks you can change oh. the way the knife looks different things like that oh okay yeah, yeah. DLC yeah. skins is what they call them DLC skins yeah oh scans not skins skins S-K-I-N-S. Skins. Okay. Yeah, because like that you changing basically it's changing the surface of their skin. In yeah. A way. So, okay. Like okay. They, you can change the color of your skin, you can change the color of your outfit, your hat, different things like that. Okay. Oh, all right. Yeah, because I've seen navy blue. Yeah. And then I've seen gray. Yeah. So that's a, those are skins. Yeah. Basically DLC, whatever you want to call it. It's it's pretty much you get to pay for it or you win it when you beat the game. Oh, okay. All right. I like that. Yeah. Well, thank you for educating me about that. Yeah. I, I definitely, definitely prefer it to be about the game than okay. about, you know, and it was interesting because there was a young man that I met at this con and he's Asian American and he was saying that uh, when he'd gone on auditions, he felt like they were asking him to do things that were stereotypical and that were negative towards the Asian, uh, making a stereotype out of an Asian American. And yeah. he didn't appreciate that. And I said, you know, I think, I think I get that. And I think women confront that a lot as do other people of color. And so I, I understood what he had to say. And I, I, I do think it's good to keep it just about the game. Okay. Yeah. So thank you for your time. Is there anything you want them to know? Like, is there any future projects that you have in the works? Well, I work, uh, my, my day job today is I work in drug prevention education. And so if you're interested in hearing about that, you can follow me on Instagram on Heidi Swan one And that's an underscore, Heidi underscore Swan one Swan is my married name. And when I got on Instagram, I did not know. So you can change was, it. I can change it? Yeah. You can change it if you like. You just have to message the people that are in the contacts. Okay. You have the pool. I'm getting you can so do much great information today. This is <laughs> great. But also when I joined Instagram, I did not know that the, the Resident Evil fan base was out there and, and a group that I could connect with. And so this has just been a joy in my life and a pleasure in my life and especially as I'm in drug prevention which is so much about addiction and mental illness and death it's just it's so great to be able to do something so fun like this and to connect with awesome fans like your viewers like like you so I really appreciate that this has been well, thank you so much pleasure. this is the glitchy gamer podcast we're glitching now. Bye, okay. everybody. Bye.